Hey everyone, Lenny Bonds here from Purposely Pixel. And today I have a bunch of cases for the S23 Ultra made by Subcase. Now these one, two, three, four are the Unicorn Beetle Pro cases. And this one right here is the Edge XT case, which is new to me. I haven't seen a case like this from Subcase and we're going to take a look at them. Familiar with Subcase, I use them for my Pixel 7, my Pixel 6, my Pixel 7 Pro, and they offer the ultimate protection for your phone. They're a bit bulky and they all come with a belt clip with a swivel, I don't really use that and also instruction guides because there's two layers to the case each individual case aside from this particular one will have kickstands in the back for your viewing pleasure they also have a thick TPU around with a hard plastic In the back, they offer ample protection for your USB port, your S Pen, speakers, your microphone, as you can see. So, I have an S23 dummy unit right here, and I'm going to place it inside the case, and I'm going to show you how they look like in each individual case. So, let's go with the newest case the Subcase Edge XT for the S23. So, this is the way it usually works. You take this, you drop it in the front. Let me just make sure I'm doing it the right way. Yes, see, so you drop it in the front, and then you just insert this like so. Make sure everything is even. So you insert it from the bottom down, this also has a screen protector with the little fingerprint cutout, so it makes it more useful and probably more accessible for the fingerprint to give you the direct area you need to hit. So let's check it out. It has the subcase logo right here. It has your power button and your volume rockers. It shows ample protection. Now, what I like about this is it's actually sleek and elegant still. It's not as bulky as the Unicorn Beetle Pro case, and it looks like it gives you ample protection also. So look how thick that is at the bottom. If you could see that, your USB-C is very recessed, so are the speakers, and so is the S Pen, but you still have ample room to just pop it out. I like the way it looks. The camera is recessed inside this nice big plastic lip that they have, so when you lay it down on its back or on its front, it's going to be well protected. It also gives you a in little indication on how to pull out the case. So basically, an easy way is just like putting a little uh, screwdriver or something and pop it out, or you can do it yourself as I will right now. So let me get this off, and we'll take a look at the Unicorn Beetle. So this is the Unicorn Beetle case, and I'll drop it in the back, because I don't think we need to put the front on and the back, but I will show you it in the back case right now. So this is how it looks in the Camel case. This particular case right here, it's called the Camel Glitch case. And that's how it looks inside, which I like. It looks pretty cool, actually. So that's the Camel Glitch case. This is more like a metallic blue. And they all have an outer shell, which I'm gonna put on and show you with it. So this is the metallic blue. This is how it looks in the metallic blue. And this over here is like a neutral color, which I like. It's, it's sort of in the beigeish brown family. Pop it out. Pop it in. 
And this is how it looks in all these cases. And like I said, they all have kickstands. So now, let me put it in the camel. Now let me put it in the camo glitch case. So as I said, what you first do is you apply the front part of it. Drop it on the phone here. And as you see, there's an indication separating front casing from rear case. So they give you a little opening and I'll show you how. And you take this and you go bottom first and then you snap everything else in like so. So once it's all snapped in, you're gonna see over here if you can see that, there's a little opening. So sometimes you could just drop um, a little screwdriver in there and it takes care of it and it takes it out easy. That's if you want to do that. So the case fits the device super snug as you can see. And it adds all this protection. You have this outer shell around the screen. You have these thick edges of TPU as well as the volume rocker and the power button. You have this nice um, raised side for gripping. You have the subcase logo. You have your USB pretty well covered. You open it up and there it goes. Close it back up. You have your speaker and your S Pen openings. Nothing on this side, just like ridges for a better grip. On the top, you have your microphone. And once again, these big, thick edges. On the back, you'll see the camera is very recessed, so there's no issue in terms of laying it flat. And you also see on all these devices, these little bumps that keeps it even higher off the table when you lay it down, which is gonna give it extra protection so there's no chance of scratching the camera lenses or anything else. You have right here, as I said, the little kickstand for viewing, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, regular movies, having it by your desk as a stand for emails or easy access to your phone. You also can lay it down horizontal to watch anything you want. It's just for your viewing pleasure. So you have vertical, horizontal, and it works very well. I'm going to drop a link below to my previous reviews of these for the Pixel devices, as well as um, links to these cases if they are available. The S23 isn't out right now, so I'm not sure if there's links available for these cases. I will check the uh, subcase site, but uh, if worse comes to worse, I'll just drop a link for the subcase site. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Let us know below if you're going to pick up the S23. And I highly recommend these. Like I said, they will protect your device completely. A little bulky, but if you want the ultimate protection, subcase got you covered. This is Lenny Bond signing off from Perfectly Pixel.